Good morning everyone, it's Betsy. So I was working on making some Christmas ornaments today. I always like to start that in the middle of the summer because once you know the holidays hit we all get so busy and I just don't have the time or the desire at that point to make a lot of things. I like to decorate my own house and get into the spirit of the season. So I always start around, oh, sometimes as early as the spring actually, but um, I, I, try to, I try to really start and work hard beginning in July. So um, I thought today I would share a few that I've made and also show you a technique that you may or may not have seen. Um, this is an example. This is just a, a very um, simple design. I used um, rice paper and decoupaged um, this uh, wooden, uh, what do you call it, a circle. And I put um, a pretty uh, damask design on the back and then added a silk velvet blue ribbon at the top. So that's your basic um, ornament. I added just a touch of glitter to give it a little sparkle and added a little bit of um, bluish silver um, ink around the edges. So that's one which is kind of, um, well not kind of, but that's the Regency era. I make all kinds. I make French ones. Here's a simple French one that I did. Uh, I look for my my uh, pictures on Pinterest. I find them um, in old postcards and scan those. And then what I like to do is I will put them on a software program on my computer and I will enhance them. So I might enhance the colors. Like she was more faded than this. So I enhanced the blue and the peach. I might give her a little more blush or a little lipstick. I might make the eyes a little brighter. And you can do that on any software program. I use three different ones mainly. One is um, PicMonkey, which you can get online. Um, and they ha do have a free version of that. But if you want to get a little more complicated, then you have to pay monthly or pay a yearly fee. Uh, I have Photoshop, which I have a love-hate relationship with. You know, it's very complex and, I mean, you can spend your whole, whole life, or at least I could spend my entire life trying to learn Photoshop, but I at least can do the basics on it. And um, here's another picture I found, um, and well, I think this was from Graphics Fairy online, so I just printed that out and decoupaged that on and added some gold wax around the edge and some pretty velvet ribbon and voila you have a pretty uh, French girl. Um, if you're into French, the French style or French country. I also like to make um, nature type ornaments. Um, this little bird was, this is actually a rice paper design you can find on Etsy and I just um, tore that out and decoupaged it on a piece of birch wood. This is real birch. And um, then I just, um, well before I did that I did age the birch a little bit with some some wax, aging wax and um, then after I decoupaged it, I didn't do anything on the back except I, I stained it a little bit. And that was about it. And then I decided to put a, a little rusty wire for the hanger and twist at the top, added a ribbon, added some rusty bells, and some little gingham ties. So I have all different designs of this little bird. They're so, so sweet. I just love that design. I love English robins. And this type, I made four different birds using a clay mold. I believe this is an IOD mold that you can find on Etsy. And all I did was I used 
clay for these. You can use resin or clay. Uh, the resin is a plastic, so it's harder, and it's more durable, I would say. The clay gives you a little more of an organic feel, a little more of an organic look. Um, it's not as perfect. The backs are not as even, although these are pretty good, <laughs> if I say so myself. And on the back, I added a little toile design and some tea dyed ribbon that matched to hang them. So we have a little chickadee, a wren, and that's a gross beak. So that's those and um, another one I did was this one and this one I used um, some cut out chipboard uh, of a clock and a filigree design I painted the wood. I found this design um, and I just printed it on a cotton paper, cut that out and decoupaged it on. And I did I say I painted this side first and then I added this. I added some to make that uh, silver sheen, I added, oops, not that one, I added some of this. This is a great metallic paint by Paint Couture called Stardust. And after that dried, I put on my little angel cut out from chipboard, a pretty um, little rhinestone pearl flat back button. I added uh, crystal rhinestones around the edge and a blue velvet ribbon. This is another type I've done and this is using acrylic bubbles. I guess you call them bubbles or bubbles. And what I did here was you can open these up and so on the, the back half I inside I decoupaged the roses uh, which was a rice paper that I purchased and <clears throat> I sealed that and then I painted around the edge with some blue to match it and I added the clay mold that I made out of um, air dry clay painted and put glitter on that added the chipboard printed fairy or angel I guess cherub I guess <laughs> whatever you want to call it and then I put the top on glued that together and I added this pretty um, trim with the flowers that matched all the colors and some pretty ribbon at the top so that's what it looks like on the back I hope you're seeing all of this and I hope I'm not talking too fast so that's another one and I do keep these in their little bags because this acrylic will scratch I sell these on Etsy I've, I've sold them for a long time um, I, I used to do a Victorian craft show and sold ornaments way back in my 20s I'm in my 60s now <laughs> so I've been making ornaments a long time and it's just fun for me. I really, I've always enjoyed it. So I thought I would share what I'm making today. This is, again, a picture I found that I loved um, with the little girls and their mom from the Regency era, probably the early 1800s. And they have their little cavalier, King Charles Spaniel. And so I printed that out on a cotton that you can you can get cotton papers from Amazon and you it's just like fabric you print it out onto that cotton paper I just have an inkjet printer and um, on the back I did the same with this pat this piece um, which is a toi because I thought that that kind of went with them and then I this morning I put, I used this mold 
and I used the air dry clay and I made a border going around them. Now I haven't finished that. Right now I'm just letting it dry and harden. I've sealed it with some multimedia matte sealant from Ranger Rick and I'm just letting that dry. So I won't do any more to that for a couple hours or not until tomorrow. I like that to get pretty dry before I do anything else to it. Um, so I am currently in the process of making this little French ornament and I printed her out on a canvas type of paper. So you can get all kinds of papers to use in your printer. Um, it just gives them a little bit more of an oil painting look in my in my eyes. Um, and once again, before I printed her, I enhanced her colors. Uh, this wasn't quite the same color as the picture. I, I enhanced that. Sorry, that was my dog. Uh, I put her on a background and um, printed her out. And then I cut her out and used the oval wood shape that I had. And you can buy those on Amazon, on Etsy. Um, you know, people buy, sell these. You can buy them at Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. They're all over the place. So I decoupaged her on. I haven't done anything on the back other than put some um, gel medium down. So I probably will paint this to match the front or put some design on the back. Normally I would do that before the border, but I just forgot and went ahead and did the border this morning since I had my clay out. And I kind of like to do it while I'm, while I'm working with the clay. I like to use it up. So I got this little mold set. Um, I think I got this off of Etsy. There are thousands of these molds. I mean you can do a hunt on Etsy for molds and you'll find zillions of them. Um, some are expensive and some like this one are not very expensive. Uh, maybe I paid, I don't think I paid more than seven or eight dollars for this one. So they're not bad if you can find them and you only need the small ones. Now if you buy big ones, um, like like this is an example. This is an IOD mold that I used. That's an IOD mold. Um, here's another one. This is a really pretty one. Now this is resin. This is an IOD mold. Um, and you can see it's it's shiny on the back. It's a plastic, a hard plastic, uh, but it's beautiful. I love that. I'm going to make an ornament out of that one. Um, but these molds are much, much more expensive. You pay $27 to $30 for these type of molds. Okay, so what I'm going to do this morning is show you how I do this little border. Um, Put these ornaments out of the way. Um, I thought I left some clay out here, but it doesn't look like I have it here. So let me get a little clay and we'll get, oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, so the first thing I do is I take my air dried clay and I like the creative paper clay. And I'll take a piece that I think will work well. Once you start using the clay, you kind of learn how much you need. Or, and I always try to go a little less than what I think I'll need, rather than more. So once it warms up a little bit, and this clay has been used a bit this morning, so it's not going to be ideal, but you'll get the idea, as my grandmother said, always said. You'll get the idea. And then I just roll it, keep rolling it until it's about the same thickness throughout. That's pretty good. And I take my mold, put it down on the one that I want to use, press, 
just keep pressing until it's pretty even. I hope you don't hear my stomach rumbling. I haven't eaten anything yet today and I'm trying to do a little bit of fasting until at least lunchtime. I started trying to do that 20, uh, 20 hour fast. Oh my gosh, I lasted a week on that. That's all I could take. Okay, so then, sorry for being a little disorganized here. You want to find a card, a credit card. This was a gift card that my son gave me that I used, of course, already. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start at the end and very gently go across. I like to do the ends first and then come in the middle. Now you can see what happened there it came out. And that's because my clay is a little dried. Uh, when I first start using it, it sticks right in there when I do this. It does not come out like that. So the more you fool with your clay, it's not quite as easy to work with. But this will be fine. And it's good for you to see that. Okay? Can you see that? I hope I'm in camera here. Sorry if I went out. All right. So there we have it. And that's pretty good. Now you could, if there's a couple spots that look a little like they have less clay than others, you can add a little more to it. Just like that. And just blend it in. Okay, and then all I do is I take it and kind of bend it until it pops out. So now I have my little border shape. You can see I've already put one section on my ornament. So I like to use this clear gel tacky glue, my favorite. And Oopsie, it's okay, it's still drying. So I'm going to start at this end, put a little glue at the tip of that clay, and just go along the edge. I'm going to just go ahead and go to the top. And you just Put this down in a cap in the cap, and so whenever you're ready to use it, it's ready to come out. Okay, put a little too much on there, but let's take that off. Now I'm gonna take it, just join it to that piece, blend it in, and then just go around the edge. Like that. Oops, can you see that? And if I have a little glue or a dog hair, <laughs> whatever, I try to get that out. I try not to touch it with my fingers because I don't want to get glue on my um, design. So there's that. Then I just need a little bit more. Scooch her up a little bit. And I don't need much more, so I'm only going to take a little bit, roll it again, warm it up a little bit, and then just roll. So I don't need much. I'm not even going to roll it on the um, this is deli paper. Just gonna go in like that. Press down. And I think that's gonna do the trick.
Oops. This clay is about is about done. So that's pretty good. And I think that's going to be plenty. I'm going to lift this up and just fix where I've come off the edge a little bit there. I already have my glue on. I'm going to get the best end and just put that there like this. Actually, I'm going to go the other way. And then right there, I'm going to take my card again. Now you can see I really overdid, but it's better to overdo than not have enough. I'll just tear that off and just blend it. You see that? I'm just going to make them all even. And there we have it. So now I'm going to just let that harden. Now what happens sometimes it'll shrink a little bit, but usually if you glue it down, it's not going to da do anything. You, you're not going to have to make any more. Once in a while the joints will come apart and you have to add a little piece in between, but I think this is going to be fine. The other thing I do like to do, I like to take either my finger or a fine brush and I like to take a little matte medium and just gently go over it. And I think that doing that helps to make it a little bit sturdier. It seals it and just need a little bit. You don't want to press hard because you don't want to hurt the design. But I try to get it all over. And you want to check the back and do the same thing back there too. And if you look on the back, you'll see like here, this is not quite even, so I'm just going to push that a little bit. And you do have plenty of time to fix it. And you want to gently, ever so gently, press it down. And that's it. So now after that dries, I will probably paint that uh, or I could age it. I could put a gold wax paste on it if I wanted to use gold. I could use a silver. I could use my silver paint couture stardust, which that would be pretty. I could just put glitter on it. Um, you could use inks on it. So many different possibilities. If you didn't want to use the clay, you could like use the flower trims that I that I showed you before. Um, but I'm sure that will give you some ideas for making your own ornaments. You've got plenty of time. And I hope this video was helpful to someone out there. And um, I hope you all have a great day today. It's, it's starting to feel a little bit cooler here, but I think we're still in for some warm temps, but I am so anxious for the fall. So take care and um, let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.